Welcome back to the channel. First up, explore the value of one of the most intriguing and sought after coins in the market, the 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny, specifically focusing on those in dirty condition and without a mint mark. The 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny, also known as the Steel Cent, is a standout piece in American coinage history. This unique coin was minted during World War II when copper was needed for the war effort, so the US. Mint switched to zinc-coated steel for this year's pennies. First, let's set the stage with a bit of history. The 1943 steel penny was created to conserve copper, which was crucial for ammunition and other wartime necessities. These coins were minted in three different facilities Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. However, today we're focusing on the 1943 steel penny without any mint mark, which means it was struck in Philadelphia. The lack of a mint mark indicates that this particular coin was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, which is the main minting facility the coin's unique steel composition, combined with its historic background, makes it highly collectible. Now, let's talk about the value of this coin, especially when it's in dirty condition. Coins in less than ideal condition often experience a drop in their market value compared to their pristine counterparts, dirty conditions can include discoloration, grime, and other forms of wear that detract from the coin's overall appearance. For a 1943 Lincoln steel penny in dirty condition, the value can vary significantly based on factors like the extent of the dirt, the amount of visible wear, and the overall state of preservation. While pristine examples of this coin can command high prices, a dirty coin may not fetch as much, but it can still be quite valuable. As of today, a 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny without a mint mark in dirty condition typically ranges between $256,000 in the auction market. This range reflects the coin's historical significance and the fact that it is still a sought-after collectible, despite its less-than-ideal condition. Collectors and investors are drawn to these coins not just for their value but for their historical importance. Even a dirty 1943 Steel Penny is a piece of American history and can be a fascinating addition to any collection. So, if you come across a 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny in dirty condition, don't be discouraged by its appearance. Its historical value and unique production make it a valuable piece in the world of coin collecting. Remember, every coin tells a story, and this one is no exception. First up the 1995 Washington Quarter Dollar with a D mint mark. But there's a twist this particular coin is in color changed bad condition. Stick around as we explore its fascinating story and current auction value. First, let's set the stage. The Washington Quarter Dollar was first minted in 1932 to commemorate George Washington's 200th birthday. Since then, it has become a staple of American coinage with various designs and mint marks over the years. In 1995, the US. Mint produced quarters with two different mint marks, the P mint mark from Philadelphia and the D mint mark from Denver. The Denver mint produced approximately 1.2 million quarters that year, making the D mint mark a bit more sought after in the collector's market. Now, let's discuss what we mean by color changed in this context. Coins can change color due to several factors, including environmental exposure, chemical reactions, or improper cleaning. A quarter in bad condition might display discoloration, scratches, or even corrosion, significantly impacting its aesthetic and numismatic value. Color changes often stem from interactions with moisture or chemicals. In this case, our 1995 D Mint Mark Quarter might exhibit a dull or tarnished appearance, which can be quite off-putting to some collectors. So how much is this coin worth today, despite its color change and bad condition? In recent auctions, quarters of this type have sold for various amounts, but the interesting thing is that even coins in less than ideal condition can fetch surprising prices. As of today, a 1995 Washington Quarter Dollar with a D mint mark in color changed, bad condition has been sold for approximately $286,000. This range may seem low compared to pristine examples, which can reach upwards of $300,000 of this unique condition or more but it highlights how even damaged coins can retain value. Several factors influence the auction value of these coins. Condition is paramount, but rarity and demand play significant roles too. While the 1995 D Mint mark isn't among the rarest quarters, its unique characteristics can appeal to specific collectors looking to complete their sets or invest in lower condition pieces. 
Collectors often look for coins that tell a story. A quarter with a unique color change could catch the eye of someone interested in the history of the coin rather than just its pristine appearance. In conclusion, the 1995 Washington quarter dollar with a D-mint mark, even in color changed bad condition, holds a place in the market. It's a reminder that every coin has a story, and sometimes those stories are as valuable as the coins themselves. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep an eye out for these unique finds. Next up we're talking about the USA Abraham Lincoln Steel Penny from 1943, specifically the large date variety with an S mint mark, and we'll be focusing on those with color damage. Let's uncover what makes this coin so unique and what it's worth in today's auction market. The 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny, also known as the Steel Cent, is a significant coin in American numismatic history during World War II, the US. Mint shifted from using copper to zinc-coated steel for penny production due to copper shortages. This change resulted in a distinctive steel penny with a silvery appearance. The 1943 large date steel penny with an S mint mark is particularly noteworthy. The large date refers to the size of the numerals on the coin, which were larger compared to the small date variety. The S mint mark indicates that this penny was produced at the San Francisco Mint. Now, Let's address the condition we're focusing on today, color damage. This particular coin has a unique history because, over time, the steel coating can become discolored or corroded, giving the coin a distinctive look. This color damage can range from reddish-brown patches to a more mottled appearance, affecting the overall aesthetic and value of the coin. In terms of valuation, the condition of the coin is crucial. For a 1943 large-date steel penny, with an S mint mark in color damaged condition, the value varies significantly. Generally, coins in this condition are less valuable compared to their well preserved counterparts. However, the rarity of the specific year and mint mark combination can still command a premium. As of recent auction results, a 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny with an S mint mark in color damaged condition can range in value. On the lower end, these coins might fetch between three eight nine thousands dollars depending on the extent of the damage and the coin's overall appeal. On the higher end, if the damage is unique or the coin has historical significance, prices can soar to four hundred thousands dollars or more. It's important to note that while color damage affects a coin's condition, the historical significance of the 1943 steel penny and the rarity of the S mint mark can still make it a valuable collector's item. If you have one of these coins or are considering adding it to your collection, keep in mind that its unique characteristics can significantly influence its market value. In conclusion, the 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny with a large date and S mint mark is a fascinating piece of American coinage history. Even with color damage, it holds a special place in the hearts of collectors and can command a notable price at auction. As always, if you're looking to buy or sell such a coin, Consulting with a reputable numismatist or auction house can provide you with the best insights and potential returns. Next up, the 1968 Washington Quarter Dollar. But not just any quarter we're focusing on the large date variety, specifically one without a mint mark, that's been sold in a striking dirty black condition. You won't believe its auction value today. First, let's talk about the 1968 Washington Quarter. This coin was minted during a time when the United States was experiencing significant changes, both socially and economically. The quarter features a portrait of George Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse, a design that has become iconic since its introduction in 1932. The 1968 quarter is notable for its large date feature, which refers to the size of the numerals 1968 on the coin. This variation was produced in significant numbers, making it relatively common. However, Today, we'll focus on one specific characteristic that can elevate its value its condition. Condition is crucial in the world of coin collecting. Coins can range from good to mint state and collectors often seek out coins that are in the best condition possible. But what happens when a coin is in a less desirable state? Let's explore the concept of dirty black condition. A coin in dirty black condition typically has not been well maintained and may show signs of oxidation, dirt, or environmental exposure. This can significantly affect its visual appeal and grading. However, sometimes these coins carry a story, making them appealing to certain collectors. So, what is the current market value for a 1968 Washington quarter dollar in dirty black condition? Recent auction results reveal some surprising trends. 
While unblemished examples can fetch a high price, coins in this specific state can also command attention, especially if they have unique features or historical significance. One particular 1968 Washington quarter dollar, large date, without a mint mark, recently sold for approximately $138,000 in various auctions. This range reflects the variability in demand among collectors who appreciate the history behind these coins, even in less than perfect condition. To gain more insight into the collecting community's perspective, we spoke with several collectors. Many expressed that they find beauty in the imperfections of a coin, viewing it as a piece of history that tells a story. I love finding coins that have character. A dirty black quarter might not be pristine, but it shows its journey through time if you own coins in a similar state or are considering acquiring one, proper care is essential. Avoid cleaning your coins harshly as this can further diminish their value. Instead, store them in a controlled environment to prevent further degradation. In summary, the 1968 Washington quarter dollar in dirty black condition may not be the flashiest coin in your collection, but it certainly has its place in the numismatic world. With auction values reflecting its uniqueness, it's a reminder that every coin has a story to tell. Next up, the 1943 Abraham Lincoln Steel Penny with D-mint mark in dirty condition. You might be surprised at what this coin is worth in today's market. Let's get started. During World War II, copper was a critical material for military ammunition, so the US. Mint decided to strike pennies using steel coated with zinc instead. This change resulted in the 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny, a notable departure from the traditional copper penny. However, the 1943 penny was not minted in the usual copper composition, but rather in steel, giving it a distinctive silvery appearance. Now, let's focus on the specifics of the coin we're discussing today, the 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny with a D mint mark. The D indicates that this penny was minted in Denver, one of the three U.S. mint locations that produced these coins during that year. This particular penny is in dirty condition. You might wonder how dirt and grime affect a coin's value. Well, dirt can significantly impact the coin's appeal to collectors. While a clean, well-preserved penny is more desirable, a dirty coin still holds value, but not as high as one in better condition. So, what's the current value of a 1943 Lincoln Steel Penny with a D-mint mark in dirty condition? According to recent auction results and market trends, these coins generally range from $300,000. The value can fluctuate based on several factors, including the extent of the dirt and the overall eye appeal of the coin. For a coin in particularly rough shape, the lower end of this range is more likely. However, if the penny has a certain historical charm, or if it's part of a larger collection, it might fetch a bit more. In summary, while a 1943 Lincoln Steel penny with a D-mint mark in dirty condition might not command top dollar it remains an interesting and collectible piece whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out. Finding and understanding the value of these unique coins is a rewarding experience. Next up, the 1985 Washington Quarter with a large date, P-era mint mark, and a dirty color. You won't believe how much this coin sold for in recent auctions. Let's get started. The Washington Quarter is one of the most iconic coins in U.S. history, introduced in 1932 to honor George Washington's 200th birthday. By 1985, the quarter had become a regular part of everyday transactions. But not all 1985 quarters are created equal. In fact, a very special 1985 Washington quarter with a P-era mint mark has caught the attention of collectors and auction houses. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is a P-era mint mark? Well, most 1985 quarters minted in Philadelphia were supposed to bear a standard P-mint mark. However, in some cases a mistake occurred during the minting process, either leaving the mint mark off or distorting it. These error coins are incredibly rare and highly sought after because mistakes make them stand out from the rest. One of the more unique characteristics of the coin we're discussing today is its dirty color. This refers to the discoloration or tarnishing that happens over time due to exposure to various elements. While some collectors prefer pristine, shiny coins, Others value these worn or discolored coins because it adds character and history to the piece. Now, let's talk about the exciting part how much this coin is worth. In today's auction market, error coins, especially from the Washington Quarter series, are fetching impressive prices. 
1985 Washington Quarter with a P-era mint mark and in dirty color condition was recently sold for around $252,000 depending on the auction and the buyer's interest. Era coins like this 1985 Washington Quarter are in high demand because they're rare and unique. Collectors love to find coins that deviate from the norm whether it's a missing mint mark, double die, or some other kind of production error. These coins serve as historical artifacts that tell the story of the minting process and the occasional mistakes that can lead to big money. So, there you have it. The 1985 Washington Quarter with a P-era mint mark and in dirty color condition has become a prized possession in today's auction market, selling for $266,000. Keep your eyes peeled you never know when you might stumble upon a hidden gem like this in your own change jar. Next up the value of a 1942 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny with a D mint mark, particularly one in a less than ideal condition. If you're interested in how a dirty, color-changed coin stacks up in today's auction market, stick around. Let's explore the intriguing world of this vintage penny. The 1942 Lincoln wheat penny, minted during World War II, is often sought after by collectors due to its historical significance and design. Minted at the Denver Mint, these coins bear the D mint mark, indicating their place of origin. However, today's focus is on a unique variation of this penny those that have been subject to wear and have developed a dirty appearance and color change over time. Condition is crucial in coin collecting, and it heavily influences a coin's market value. For most coins, especially those in less than pristine condition, one might expect a lower valuation. But in the world of numismatics, even coins with imperfections can hold surprising value. Let's break down why this particular 1942 penny stands out. Coins like the 1942 wheat penny, especially those in dirty or color-changed conditions, often face a drop in their collectible value. Factors such as tarnishing, discoloration, or accumulation of grime can detract from a coin's aesthetic appeal. Despite these issues, certain collectors find value in the unique stories or characteristics these coins present. So, What's the value of a 1942 Lincoln wheat penny with a D mint mark in such a condition today? In recent auctions, examples of this penny in dirty or color-changed conditions have sold for varying amounts, largely influenced by their rarity and the market demand. On average, you might see these coins ranging from $26,000, depending on the extent of the discoloration and the overall appeal to collectors. The value can be influenced by several factors the degree of dirtiness, how much the color has changed, and the overall demand among collectors. While a coin in pristine condition might fetch a significantly higher price, a well-preserved example of the 1942 penny in dirty or altered condition still holds considerable appeal. Collecting is often about personal connection and historical appreciation rather than just monetary value. For some collectors, the story behind a coin or its unique appearance can make it more valuable than its condition alone might suggest. Collectors who value the history and rarity of these pieces may be willing to pay a premium even for coins in less than perfect shape. In conclusion, while a 1942 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny with a D mint mark in dirty and color-changed condition might not command the highest prices in pristine condition, it still holds a special place in the world of numismatics. Its value in today's auction market reflects its unique status among collectors. As always, if you have one of these pennies, it's worth consulting with a professional appraiser or participating in collector communities to get a precise valuation. Next up the 1969 Washington Quarter Dollar without a mint mark, specifically in fine condition. If you've got one of these coins tucked away, you might be sitting on a potential gem, as some of them are bringing in impressive prices at auctions today. Let's break it down. The 1969 Washington Quarter is part of the iconic Washington Quarter series, which started in 1932 to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington. Now, what makes the 1969 Washington Quarter so special? For starters, coins from this era were no longer made with silver by 1969, the US. Mint was using a copper-nickel-clad composition. This shift had a major impact on their value as bullion but that doesn't mean the 1969 quarter isn't worth more than its face value today. The absence of a mint mark on a 1969 Washington quarter means that it was minted in Philadelphia. While Philadelphia-produced coins are generally more common than those from the Denver or San Francisco mints, some key details, such as condition and market demand, 
have driven the auction values higher in recent years. When we say fine condition, we're referring to a grade that reflects moderate wear, but with all of the major details still visible. You'll see light wear on Washington's portrait and the eagle on the reverse side, but overall, the coin's details are still clear. Fine condition sits right in the middle of the grading scale, and while it's not as pristine as uncirculated or extra fine grades, it still holds value in the collector's market. So, how much are these coins selling for in today's auction market? Well, based on recent sales in 2024, a 1969 Washington quarter without a mint mark in fine condition can fetch anywhere between $96,000 at auction. Of course, this value depends on factors like demand, rarity, and the specific auction, but for a coin that's been in circulation for over 50 years, that's quite a jump from its original 25-cent face value. If you have a 1969 Washington Quarter without a mint mark in fine condition, you might be asking, should I sell now with auction prices holding steady in the $100,000 range, it could be a good time to consider cashing in. However, if demand continues to rise, you could also see an increase in value if you hold onto it for a few more years. Next up, the 1949 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny with a large date and an S mint mark in fine condition. We'll explore its history, features, and most importantly, its value in today's auction market. So, let's get started. The 1949 Lincoln Wheat Penny, produced by the San Francisco Mint, is a notable coin in the world of numismatics. While the standard 1949 pennies are not particularly rare, those with the large date and S mint mark hold a special place. This variation is highly sought after by collectors due to its relative scarcity and the quality of the minting. To understand its value, let's delve into some background. The Lincoln Wheat Penny series was minted from 1909 to 1958, and it features a portrait of Abraham Lincoln designed by Victor David Brenner. The 1949 issue was the last year of the large date style before transitioning to a smaller date design in 1950. The San Francisco Mint produced these coins with the S Mint mark, adding to their uniqueness. The large date variety of the 1949 penny is distinguished by the prominent size of the numbers, which stand out more than the small date version. This specific characteristic, combined with the S mint mark, makes it a notable collectible. Now, let's talk about condition. The fine grade, as defined by the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation NGC and other grading organizations, signifies a coin that shows moderate wear on high points but still retains clear details. For the 1949 large date with S mint mark, fine condition means that the coin is well preserved, with readable inscriptions and prominent features, despite some signs of wear. In today's auction market, the value of a 1949 Lincoln Wheat Penny with the large date and S mint mark in fine condition can vary based on several factors, including demand, overall market conditions, and specific coin quality. Recent sales data suggests that such coins can fetch impressive prices. On average, you can expect to see these coins selling in the range of $198,000 however, in exceptional cases, they have reached values upwards of $237,000 depending on the coin's exact condition and provenance. For example, at recent auctions, fine condition 1949 large date pennies with the S mint mark have sold for about $256,000 this price reflects the coin's rarity and the premium collectors are willing to pay for a piece with this specific mint mark and date variation. If you're looking to add a 1949 large date with S mint mark penny to your collection, keep an eye on auction sites, numismatic shows, and reputable dealers. Ensuring the coin's authenticity and grade through certified grading services can help you secure a valuable piece and avoid potential pitfalls. Next up, the 1974 Washington Quarter with a large date and no mint mark. If you've got one lying around, you may be sitting on some serious cash. Stay tuned as we break down its value, condition, and recent auction sales. The 1974 Washington Quarter is part of the long-running series honoring George Washington, which first debuted in 1932. The coin is made from a copper-nickel blend, not silver, as the silver content was removed from U.S. quarters after 1964. However, this 1974 quarter still holds significant value in today's auction market, especially in fine condition. Now, if you have a 1974 quarter with no mint mark, that means it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Unlike Denver or San Francisco mints, Philadelphia coins from that era were produced without a mint mark. 
Even though the coin isn't made of silver, its value is driven by demand among collectors, especially for high-grade versions. When it comes to coin grading, fine condition means the coin shows moderate wear, with some details still visible. For a 1974 Washington quarter, you might see light wear on Washington's hair and the eagle's feathers on the reverse. While it's not considered mint or uncirculated, fine condition can still bring in solid money, especially if the market is hot. Now, let's talk dollars. What can a 1974 Washington quarter in fine condition sell for at auction today? While common quarters can go for face value, we've seen examples of this specific coin selling between $39,000 in recent auctions, depending on the collector demand. Some even fetch higher prices if they have interesting toning or minor errors. One coin in fine condition recently sold for $43,000 on an auction platform, while another one with a slight error went for $48,000, so if you've got a 1974 quarter in decent shape, don't overlook it. So why are collectors willing to pay more for this quarter? It comes down to a combination of factors, its historical significance, scarcity in fine or better condition, and the appeal of finding well-preserved coins without mint marks from the Philadelphia Mint. All of these make the 1974 Washington Quarter a standout coin for collectors. So there you have it, folks. The 1974 Washington Quarter with no mint mark and a large date is definitely one to look out for, especially if it's in fine condition or better. Even if it's not a silver coin, its value in the auction market could surprise you. Next up, exploring the value of a 1958 Lincoln wheat penny without a mint mark in damaged and dirty condition. While this coin might not seem like a prime candidate for high value due to its condition, it's fascinating to see how market dynamics and collector interest can influence prices. So, let's get into it. The Lincoln Wheat Penny, produced from 1909 to 1958, is a beloved staple in American numismatics. The 1958 date marks the end of this iconic series, making all coins from this year somewhat significant to collectors. The coin we're focusing on today is a 1958 Lincoln Wheat Penny with no mint mark, which means it was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. In pristine condition, a 1958 Lincoln Wheat Penny might fetch a decent price. However, our focus here is on the damaged and dirty condition of this particular coin. Despite its less than ideal state, these coins can still be surprisingly valuable under certain circumstances. Coins in damaged and dirty conditions are generally less sought after than their well-preserved counterparts. Damage could include anything from scratches and dents to corrosion and discoloration. Dirt or grime can obscure details and further affect a coin's value. For a 1958 Lincoln Wheat Penny, these factors significantly impact its desirability. So, what can you expect for a 1958 Lincoln Wheat Penny without a mint mark in this condition? The auction market is an excellent place to gauge its value. Typically, such a coin, due to its damage and dirt, would be valued significantly lower than a coin in better condition. As of today, in a damaged and dirty state, the coin might range from approximately $55,000 this price range reflects its basic collector value rather than a premium. However, if the coin has historical significance or unique characteristics beyond its damage, it might attract a niche collector, pushing its value slightly higher. To put this into perspective, let's look at some recent auction results. For example, a similar 1958 Lincoln Wheat Penny in damaged condition sold for around $69,000 this aligns with the general trend for coins of this type and condition. Prices can vary based on the specific damage, the presence of any rare features, and the current market demand. In conclusion, while a 1958 Lincoln Wheat Penny without a mint mark in damaged and dirty condition may not command top dollar, it still holds interest for collectors, particularly those focused on completing sets or studying variations. If you come across one of these coins, it's always worth checking the latest market trends and auction results, as even damaged coins can sometimes surprise us with their value. Next up an unusual 1986 Washington Quarter with a large date and a P-mint mark, but there's more. This one has a color change on the reverse and is in dirty condition. Sounds interesting, right? Let's find out why this coin is catching attention at auctions and how much it could be worth today. Now, the 1986 Washington Quarter isn't typically a coin you'd think of as being super valuable millions were minted and they were mostly used for everyday transactions. But sometimes, unique characteristics or conditions can make even a common coin stand out. 
The coin we're talking about today has a large date, the P mint mark from Philadelphia, and most intriguingly, the reverse side shows a color change, likely from exposure to elements, and the overall condition is dirty. So what's up with the color change? Over time, coins can experience environmental damage exposure to air, moisture, or even chemicals can change the metal's appearance. This 1986 quarter has experienced just that, with discoloration on the reverse side. Although this kind of damage usually reduces the value of most coins, certain collectors find uniqueness in these imperfections, making it a fascinating piece for some. Surprisingly, a 1986 Washington quarter like this dirty, with a color change on the reverse side has sold at auction recently for around $297,000. The final price depends on the extent of the color change, overall condition, and how desirable it is to collectors. But why would anyone pay that much for a damaged coin? Well, the auction market is all about rarity and appeal. Even though this 1986 quarter has wear and tear, the color change makes it a one-of-a-kind piece. Some collectors seek out coins with oddities or errors because it makes their collection unique. Keep in mind, a regular 1986 Washington quarter in mint or near-mint condition generally sells for $300,500 of dollars, but when a coin has a story, like our color changed, dirty quarter, its value can go up significantly. So, what's the takeaway here? If you've got a 1986 Washington quarter, especially one with some unusual characteristics, don't dismiss it as just another coin in your change jar. Unique features like color changes, even in dirty condition, can sometimes make it a hit at auction. You never know you might be holding onto something worth way more than 25 cents. Next up, the 1944 Lincoln Wheat Penny with a D mint mark in damaged condition. Let's break down what makes this coin so unique and valuable, even in less than perfect condition. First, let's start with some context. The 1944 Lincoln Wheat Penny was minted during World War II, a time when copper was crucial for military use. As a result, the U.S. Mint used steel to make pennies in 1943, but by 1944, they returned to copper. The 1944 penny is often remembered for its historical significance and the shift back to traditional materials. The D mint mark on this penny indicates it was produced at the Denver Mint. In general, Lincoln pennies from this era are fairly common, but their value can vary widely based on their condition. Coins in pristine, uncirculated condition can command high prices. However, what about those with damage? A damaged coin, as you might expect, can significantly impact its value. Damage can come in many forms scratches, dents, corrosion or other marks that detract from the coin's appearance. Despite this, certain damaged coins can still fetch a noteworthy price, depending on factors such as rarity and demand. Even a coin in damaged condition can be of interest to collectors and investors. The 1944 Lincoln Wheat Penny with a D-mint mark, though not rare in itself, can still be valuable if it holds historical significance, or if it's a rare variety. For example, errors or unique characteristics can add to its allure. Recent auction results show that a 1944 Lincoln Penny with a D-mint mark in damaged condition might sell for anywhere between $289,000 depending on the severity and type of damage. Coins that feature more minor damage or have unusual characteristics may fall on the higher end of this range. Remember, the value of a damaged coin isn't solely determined by its imperfections. Factors such as the coin's historical context, rarity, and the current market demand play crucial roles. Collectors often find value in the stories these coins tell, even when they're not in pristine shape. In summary, while a 1944 Lincoln Wheat Penny with a D-mint mark in damaged condition may not break records for top dollar sales, it still holds a place in the market. If you come across one of these coins, remember its historical significance and the unique story it carries with it. Next up, the 1982 Washington Quarter Dollar, particularly focusing on the highly sought after large date variety with the D-era mint mark. If you're a collector or just curious about coin values, stick around. The Washington Quarter, first minted in 1932, has undergone many changes over the years. The 1982 issue is particularly interesting because it features a unique large date format, but what makes this coin even more special is the D-era mint mark. The D-mint mark indicates that this coin was struck at the Denver Mint. However, the error occurs due to a misalignment during the minting process, resulting in a distinctive look that collectors crave. 
The combination of the large date and the D error makes this quarter a rare find. Condition plays a crucial role in determining a coin's value. In the case of our featured coin, we're discussing one in dirty condition. While this may sound detrimental, it's important to note that rarity can still command high prices, even with visible wear and grime. Recently, in today's auction market, a 1982 Washington quarter dollar with a D era mint mark in dirty condition sold for an impressive value of around $59,000. This range varies based on the specifics of the coin and the demand among collectors. If you come across this quarter, consider its history and rarity. While cleaning your coin might be tempting, it's often best to leave it in its current state to preserve its value. Always consult a professional appraiser if you're unsure about its worth. Next up the 1986 Washington quarter dollar with a D mint mark in fine condition. If you're a collector or just curious about coin values, stick around to find out why this coin is generating buzz in today's auction market. The Washington quarter was first minted in 1932 to commemorate George Washington's 200th birthday. The design has become iconic, featuring a profile of Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. Fast forward to 1986, and we see a continuation of this classic design, struck at both the Philadelphia and Denver mints. Mint marks are crucial for collectors. The D mint mark indicates that this coin was produced in Denver. Coins with different mint marks can vary significantly in value, even if they are from the same year and in similar condition. But what does fine condition really mean? A fine coin shows moderate wear but still retains a good amount of detail. The main features of the coin are visible, though the high points may be somewhat worn down. In the case of our 1986D mint mark quarter, we can expect a coin with clear inscriptions and identifiable features. Now, let's talk numbers. The current auction market has seen the 1986D mint mark Washington quarter sell for impressive prices. In fine condition, these coins are valued around $21,000 on average. However, during auction events, exceptional examples can fetch upwards of $22,000 or more, depending on demand and bidding competition. For instance, a particularly well-preserved 1986D quarter recently sold for $26,000 at a prominent coin auction. This highlights the importance of condition and market interest, which can significantly impact final sale prices. If you're considering adding this coin to your collection or selling one, remember a few key tips. Always store your coins in a cool, dry place, ideally in a protective holder. Avoid touching the surfaces to maintain their value, and when buying or selling, do your research on current market trends. In conclusion, the 1986 Washington Quarter with a D mint mark in fine condition is not just a piece of currency, it's a currency, it's a collectible that has shown potential in today's market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, understanding the value of coins like this one can enhance your collection and investment strategies. Next up the 1938 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny with a D mint mark in fine condition. We'll uncover what makes this coin so valuable in today's auction market and why collectors are paying top dollar for it. Let's start with some background. The 1938 Lincoln Wheat Penny is part of a series that was minted from 1909 to 1958. This coin, often celebrated for its historical significance and classic design, features Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the iconic wheat ears on the reverse. What sets the 1938 penny apart, especially the one with a D mint mark, is its rarity and condition. The D mint mark indicates that this penny was minted in Denver. While the 1938 D penny is not one of the rarest pennies in the series, its value can significantly increase depending on its condition. Today we're focusing on the fine condition, which is a step up from good but not as high as extremely fine or uncirculated. In fine condition, you can expect to see clear but slightly worn details. The coin will have noticeable wear on Lincoln's hair and the wheat stalks on the reverse, but the main features of the coin are still distinct and identifiable. The overall appeal of the coin in this state can make it highly sought after by collectors. So what's the value of a 1938D Lincoln wheat penny in fine condition in today's auction market? Recent sales data reveals that these coins can fetch between $20,000 depending on specific factors like strike quality, eye appeal, and overall demand at auction. While this might not seem like a huge amount compared to some rarer coins, it's a solid value, especially for a coin that is over 85 years old. 
At recent auctions, we've seen prices for the 1938D Lincoln Wheat Penny in fine condition fluctuate within this range coins with exceptional eye appeal, or those that have been graded and authenticated by reputable services can sometimes command prices on the higher end of this spectrum. The 1938D penny's value is driven by a combination of factors. It's a relatively common coin, but its historical context and the demand among collectors for well-preserved examples drive the market. In fine condition, it's a nice piece that offers good value for both beginner and experienced collectors. As always, the value of coins can vary based on numerous factors, including market trends and collector interest. If you have a 1938D Lincoln Wheat Penny, Getting it appraised and graded can provide a clearer picture of its value whether you're looking to buy, sell, or simply learn more about coin collecting. Understanding the value of these historic pieces is essential. Next up the 1980 Washington Quarter Dollar with a large date and a rare D-era mint mark. This coin, in fine condition, has captured the attention of collectors and its value might just surprise you. So stick around to find out how much this coin is worth in today's auction market. To understand the significance of the 1980 Washington Quarter, let's take a quick look at its history. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington. It quickly became one of the most iconic coins in US history and has been in continuous production ever since. The 1980 Quarter is part of this long-running series, but what makes this particular coin special is the error associated with the D-Mint mark. Now, what exactly is the D-era mint mark? In 1980, quarters were minted in three locations Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Coins from the Denver Mint feature a D-mint mark, but during the minting process, errors can occur. In the case of this quarter, the error involved the D-mint mark being either misplaced, doubled, or distorted. These kinds of errors are often caused by misalignment of the die, and they can make a coin much more valuable because they're rare and unique. Collectors love error coins because no two are exactly the same, and the rarity of these mistakes makes them stand out in auctions. The 1980 Washington Quarter with the D-Era Mint Mark is a prime example of such a coin. Now, let's talk about the condition of this coin. This specific quarter is in fine condition. What does that mean for its value? In the coin grading world, a fine condition coin is one that has moderate wear, with the major details still visible, but the finer details may be worn down. For a 1980 Washington Quarter, this means you'll still see the features of George Washington's profile, the date, and the era mint mark, but there will be clear signs of circulation. So, how much is this 1980 Washington Quarter dollar with a D era mint mark in fine condition worth today? The value of this coin can vary, but auction markets have seen impressive bids for these quarters. Let's take a look at some recent sales. In today's auction market, error coins like this one have been sold for anywhere between $356,000 Why the wide range. Well, it depends on the specific nature of the error and the interest from collectors. Some D error coins with more pronounced mistakes, like a doubled or misplaced D, tend to attract higher bids. In fine condition, this quarter holds strong potential, often fetching prices closer to the higher end of that range. For example, in a recent auction, a 1980 Washington Quarter with a similar D-era mint mark sold for $396,000 not bad for a 25-cent coin, right? The demand for these era coins, especially in decent condition like fine, is steadily increasing. Some rare and particularly dramatic era versions of this coin have even surpassed the $400,000 mark. What makes this coin so valuable, you ask? It's a combination of factors. First, the error itself. As I mentioned earlier, error coins are rare and collectors seek them out because of their uniqueness. Second, the D mint mark error on a Washington quarter from 1980 is relatively uncommon, making it more desirable. And third, even though this coin is in fine condition, it's still in demand because it's an error quarter. Condition plays a role, but with error coins, it's often the error itself that takes center stage. So, there you have it, the 1980 Washington Quarter Dollar with a large date and D era mint mark is a coin that's turning heads in today's auction market. In fine condition, this quarter can sell for anywhere between $364,000 depending on the exact nature of the era and the interest from collectors. If you happen to have one of these in your collection, it might be worth taking a closer look and if you're into coin collecting, 
always keep an eye out for those mint mark errors they could add a lot of value to your collection. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, next up the 1937 Abraham Wheat Penny without a mint mark, especially those in color changed and dirty condition. If you're passionate about numismatics or just curious about coin values, you're in the right place. Let's explore why this specific penny is so valuable in today's auction market. The 1937 Abraham Wheat Penny, part of the iconic Lincoln Penny series, is a significant piece in American numismatic history. This penny features the familiar design of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the two wheat stalks on the reverse. Minted during the Great Depression, these coins were produced in large quantities, making them relatively common in mint condition. However, their value can vary significantly based on several factors. When it comes to coin valuation, condition is a crucial factor. Most 1937 pennies are found in better condition, but those that have undergone significant color changes and are in dirty condition offer a unique challenge. Color changes can occur due to a variety of factors such as chemical exposure, environmental conditions, or even mishandling. These alterations can affect a coin's appeal to collectors, but can also make it more intriguing to certain buyers. In today's auction market, the value of a 1937 Abraham Wheat penny in color changed and dirty condition can vary. On average, such a coin might fetch between $78,000 depending on the extent of the color change and the overall condition of the coin. While this is lower than pristine examples, it still represents a significant value for collectors interested in coins with unique characteristics or those looking to invest in less conventional specimens. Several factors influence the value of these unique coins. First, the extent and nature of the color change can play a role. Coins with rare or visually striking color alterations might command higher prices. Second, the degree of dirtiness and the impact on the coin's overall appearance are important coins that have been cleaned or altered excessively might be less valuable, but those with a unique patina might still attract interest. Collectors often have varied preferences when it comes to coins with altered conditions. Some are drawn to the stories behind such coins and appreciate their historical and aesthetic uniqueness. Others might view them as a budget-friendly entry point into the world of coin collecting finding value in their distinctiveness rather than their traditional grading. In conclusion, the 1937 Abraham Wheat Penny, without a mint mark in color changed and dirty condition, is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. While it may not be the highest value coin in pristine condition, its unique characteristics give it a special place in the market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer, Understanding these nuances can help you appreciate and value this coin even more. Have any questions or thoughts about this coin or others? Drop them in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting!